Welcome to the Powerful Marketing Tips Podcast, created for overwhelmed business owners who want to build, run, and organize their marketing for good. And here's a brief overview of our guest. Today, we'll talk video marketing, a topic that most business owners are curious about, but also, if we're honest, a little bit terrified about. Well, today's guest, Anush Matsakian, is a video marketing expert and the CEO and co-founder of BurnWe. As a marketer and business development specialist with years of experience in video marketing, Anush understands the struggles that businesses face. She's a strong believer that strategy-based video content is vital to drive businesses to the sky level on their success path. And that is something she constantly proves with her team at Burnwe. Anush's team has expertise in creating digital videos of all types and formats. From animated explainers to app tutorials, demo videos, and social media ads. So tune in for some practical video marketing tips. So as marketing strategies have grown and changed, video has become the go-to form of communication. And that's not expected to change anytime soon. A recent Cisco annual report backs this up and also projected that by 2022, there will be almost a million minutes of video on the internet. And also, uh, they said that 82% of all consumer web traffic would, in fact, be from video. Outside that report, other video research I came across recently shows that people spend 2.6 times as much time on a website with video. And websites using video are 53 times more likely to obtain first page search results. And videos generate 300% more traffic. So we just have to talk about video marketing. Welcome on our podcast. Thank you, Marilise. It's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So please tell us, uh, you know, what do you do and uh, how you are related with video marketing. <laughs> yes. So uh, it's already four years that I'm running a video marketing agency. I started back in 2018 with my partner, who is who was actually in video production for a long time. So we started uh, together um, from the scratch, let me say. It was really new industry for me. And I started to learn, to explore everything about video marketing. And right now I already can self a video marketing expert because like I know the industry from top to bottom to understand like everything, how people should create videos, how to share them, like how to get real results from the videos. So right now my company is based in Armenia, but we are working worldwide with a different, usually the tech companies and startups from everywhere in the world and help them to grow their businesses using video. Yeah, you are doing some great things. I know that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there is so much we uh, could talk about videos, right? But I'd like to focus today, let's say, on those minimum viable things that a small business owner could do, right? But, but before we dive into that, please share some, let's say, benefits. You know, why should anybody start thinking about video marketing? Of course, I already did share some numbers, but I'm sure you, you have some great additions here. Sure. You you did tell a lot of good stuff, actually, which I would love to mention, of course. And what I would add, like more, maybe more generic stuff, why people need videos. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it, Maybe it's not surprising because everybody needs uh, videos and everybody knows that videos are so important nowadays. But the one important factor, why do people need that? Because video is the only way, is the only content type that can tell easier can explain easier what you are doing and um, like convey people why they need to uh, buy your product, why they need to use your services, because it has like all types of content in it. I mean, it's it's text, it's audio, it's movements, it's everything included in one video, it, one content type. And it's so easy for people to get the information when they are watching one minute video instead of like reading whole text. So that's maybe one of the most important things why people need to get started with video marketing. 
But okay. another thing is that I know that a lot of companies started to use videos. That's why right now, just creation of the video and sharing online is not helpful anymore. You also need to understand all the aspects of video marketing to get started in a right way to see the results. Let's talk about those because it is important, you know, we can create those videos, but uh, of course we want to, we want uh, actually to, to be there and we, we, want, uh, we want the audience, right? So let's, let's talk about how to start with video marketing. I understand that there is so much information out there, you know, with the funnels and with the strategy planning. Let's say that I have the videos, but uh, I need to market those right now. What would be, let's say, first baby steps here? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, of course, it's all about the strategy when you are just getting started. Mm -hmm. If we forget about like yearly or annual strategy and concentrate only just one video, uh, what you should do, of course, all of our listeners, first of all, they need to understand why they need that video. I mean, mm -hmm. where they are going to share that video, uh, who are going to watch the videos. And I mean, like overall, what is the goal with this video? If I know the goal that, for example, it's for brand awareness, I know exactly like which video type to create that can help me to do that brand awareness. Uh, if we're talking like about brand awareness as an example, it could be like who you are, what you are doing and how you can help your customers. So the video need to be based on these questions. And when I create a video, I know exactly, do I need to share it on YouTube, uh, on my website, uh, on social media channels, on LinkedIn, Instagram? Uh, and when I know the distribution channel as well, I know like which size of videos to create um, and how the videos are going to look like. So it's all about the strategy. First, you create a strategy, then you create a video, and then you think about the distribution. And this, if you know exactly where you're going to share the videos, it's just a matter of like how to present the video. I mean, the description is so important, how you present your video, what's um, like the way that it actually can catch people to watch the video till the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's say I have my strategy, uh, you know, they are, uh, let's say annual, as you, as you mentioned, and that I make those videos, then what about the marketing side? Because I understand that there is, um, for example, in, when you put your video on, on YouTube, you, you need to work with, you know, search engine optimizing inside the YouTube as well. It's, it's very complex, I would say, word. Yeah. <laughs> what are yes. your thoughts here? <laughs> how, how should someone like, what are the first steps when I, when I have those videos and I want to put them out, let's say, on the YouTube? When we're talking about uh, YouTube, it's like, it's a huge, maybe, let's say, um, huge plan because mm -hmm. a video, uh, YouTube marketing, YouTube video marketing is li like a complete other, um, uh, a complete thing that you need to learn before getting mm -hmm. started with it. So mm -hmm. what I would suggest that can help beginners, usually uh, before getting started with YouTube marketing, start with researching the keywords mm -hmm. is the first thing that people need to to do. When you search a keyword on YouTube search, it exactly will give you an understanding like what people want to watch. Um, it's really good when you're starting your vlogs, when you're starting your podcast channel, it, it will really help you. And this is the basic thing. You just type a content, like a keyword and YouTube can suggest, give a suggestion of like what people really interested to hear. And if you know the keywords already and starting your uh, video marketing, uh, let's say recording of the vlog, you should use at least six to seven times your keyword during your speech. Uh, for example, if my keyword is video marketing and I'm talking about video marketing all the time, I need to use six and seven times the, the video marketing uh, keywords so it can help YouTube to understand that this video is about video marketing and can boost the content um, up in the rankings. Mm -hmm. Another thing is when the video is ready and you need to share it on YouTube, mm -hmm. you need to use your keywords um, one time in a title. Uh, several times in your description, and it will be really good to use the keyword in the very first sentence of the description. Mm 
And you need to use the same keyword in your tags. So all of this information should match together. So YouTube understands, okay, you're talking about this, you're mentioning in a title, in the description and in text. When you do all this stuff, automatically your content will be seen when someone searches for the similar keyword. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is like basic steps. Of course, there are a bunch of information to know about YouTube, but at least this, this information you need to keep in mind. And another thing that I am mentioning all the time is never put your videos just online. Uh, I mean, just, uh, just download them on YouTube, uh, just upload them on YouTube, but have a name of your video as well as a keyword, because that's also important for YouTube. Uh, when your video name is just not video one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. but actually it's like the, your keyword is in the video title. You mean when it's saved in my computer? Yes, ah. exactly. And you are uploading to YouTube. That's, mm -hmm. That name mm -hmm. is also so important to have. Wow. That's a very really like ninja level trick already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But let's, let's come back for a second. Is the YouTube like best place where to put your videos or... What are your thoughts here? Good question, actually. It depends on the target audience and it depends on the video type. Uh, if we're talking about vlogs, definitely go with YouTube. Uh, but uh, I sometimes I uh, also suggest to use LinkedIn for your mm -hmm. vlogs as well, because maybe your target audience is uh, is based in on LinkedIn, not on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, uh, sharing your content and getting more, um, let's say, visibility easier on LinkedIn than on YouTube. YouTube needs time. Some people, uh, sometimes it may take one year just to get any kind of content seen. And mm -hmm. sometimes you need to really like share hundred and more videos to, so people can um, understand that your content is valuable and start uh, subscribing to your channel. But on LinkedIn, it's easier because you maybe have already your, let's say, audience, have people that follow you and it's easier to share and get engagement with sometimes encouraging people to create more content. So I usually uh, suggest to get started with LinkedIn if your audience is business people. Uh, but always share on YouTube as well because um, it will help you just grow your um, page day by day and later you will see the results as well there. Mm -hmm. Of course, it depends on the target audience because Maybe I want to put my videos to TikTok, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, or or Instagram. If mm -hmm. if you are targeting like fashion people, or you're targeting e-commerce, e-commerce, uh, like all e-commerce companies should always consider Instagram as their number one platform because it has a separate shop already. So it's the best platform. I mean, to to go with and sharing videos and. Why I said also that video type is important because for vlogs, I said YouTube, but if you are mm -hmm. sharing, for example, um, a promo videos, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe YouTube is not the, the ideal place. Um, maybe Facebook is the ideal place. So it's everything is depend on the specific case and specific target audience and video types. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I hear that LinkedIn is the best place for business to business, but... My question is, should I do LinkedIn Lives or should I like pre-record videos and upload? I would go with both. I mean, you should uh, do all like people say you should take all the things that are in your hand and try everything to see which works for you because mm -hmm. uh, something may work for me but something may be different for another person and your audience may may ask for different content so i would suggest doing everything in your hand um, i like youtube live uh, although it has some specifications, some limitations, if we compare, for example, with YouTube or Facebook, but it's improving day by day. So definitely live is good. And if you want to post uh, already um, recorded videos, uh, try just to shorter versions on LinkedIn because link people on LinkedIn do not like long videos, long and um, um, like to watch it with hours or like 20, 30 minutes. But in opposite, YouTube 
videos. I mean, it adores. And as long as the video is better for you. So mm -hmm. sometimes it also can be one of the factors for YouTube to push your content. It, it decides between who's the longest providing the content uh, and push it up. Actually, I just wanted to ask about the length. Do I understand that the length really, really depends on the strategy, meaning that if you decide to go on YouTube, you should, uh, you know, have longer videos maybe, and if you decide to go LinkedIn, for example, for business to business people, then you should uh, go for the shorter version. Yeah, you can use the same video. I mean, just mm -hmm. just put the long version on YouTube and make the short version on LinkedIn. And that's also really good for marketing reason because from LinkedIn, people can see and if they are interested to watch the longer version, they can go to YouTube. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. even better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you mentioned that you should try you know, different platforms and try different uh, approaches. But for me, it sounds too much work, to be yeah, honest. No. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any, I don't know, ideas or tips uh, here? Because, of course, we, we understand we need to create those videos. But um, I assume that most uh, small businesses, they don't have the resources to hire a team, you know, and... Uh, of course, we want to create the content, but we want to create it in less time. So do you have any tips here? Yeah, of course. So for for those people who are just getting started, I mean, startup mm -hmm. owners, like people who can be like one person in the company, because I have started with that, uh, mm -hmm. let's say, point when I was the one doing everything in the company, like marketing, sales, business development, everything. So in this process, I really understand that you don't have a lot of time to do all video marketing, all the processes by your own. I would suggest starting with... Um, with sharing the same video everywhere. I mean, if you're creating, for example, sh short tips, only tips like daily tips you can create and share on your um, stories in on Instagram, you can share on Facebook, on LinkedIn. You can even share them on YouTube shorts because now YouTube also allows us to use these short videos in vertical format. Mm -hmm. And you can see which one is actually have more engagement, which one, uh, which of these platforms actually boosting your content up and um, making it visible for everyone. In this process, when you understand, like, for example, YouTube was the best or LinkedIn was the best, you can go with that direction. But why it's important to start with sharing everywhere? Because you simply can't guess which of these platforms would work best for you. I tried myself, I shared my videos on LinkedIn and on Instagram, and I saw that my Instagram followers are not that much interested to learn about video marketing tips rather than my LinkedIn followers. So I decided, okay, LinkedIn is my, my platform, let me share there. But at the same time, besides that, if I have time to share more high quality vlogs, I'm sharing them on YouTube, but also sharing a short part on LinkedIn. So I'm trying to keep other platforms um, let's say running as well, but concentrate mm -hmm. on one platform that's giving me more results. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the um, editing part as well. So I, I will make this one video, but should it be, I have seen that the, for most videos, the more simple and let's say raw it is, you know, the more authentic the content is and, and people like it. So what are your like thoughts here about editing? Uh, I would say it also depends on the platform. If we go on LinkedIn, I shared professional videos and I shared videos that I've created with my smartphone and just edited with my smartphone. Mm -hmm. So honestly, LinkedIn loves simple videos. And even the ones that I created with my phone were, had better engagement than the ones that I've shared from YouTube or shared like professional production videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm I'm trying to not to make it simple and sharing only videos by my smartphone. But mm -hmm. YouTube doesn't love that much that kind of videos if it's not in the YouTube Shorts, but it's in actual YouTube channel. Um, I I would recommend to use really high quality camera, lightings, microphone, because you, the, uh, the people who are actually on YouTube, they prefer high quality content. And even if your video is 4K and higher, YouTube pushes it up. And even ha have that icon that mentioning this is 4K video. 
So mm -hmm. in this process, if you don't have right now a possibility to create high quality videos, don't share them on YouTube. I mean, I know that you can share and maybe it will work, but in this process, I would really recommend to concentrate on the platform which likes simple videos. Mm -hmm. Let's go with to, to Instagram. I mean, stories and reels who are posting like high high quality professional videos on the reels and stories, no one, because that's our daily videos. And mm -hmm. people love that daily effects that you can just like shoot um, backstage videos, like uh, what's going on in your workspace, this kind of fun stories that you can do that with your smartphone. So no, no difference and no matter to do high quality videos here. But if we go with more, um, let's say, website videos, I would definitely recommend in this case to have a budget and to hire a video, video production or video marketing team. Because mm -hmm. when we're talking about explainers, sometimes it's difficult for a person who is a business owner to create the right explainer video for your product because you are the one who knows the product, but sometimes you don't see that from the client's perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why a really good video marketing team can help you in this process because they can consider a client's opinion. They can consider like how to create a video that can look nice and be very clear and understanding. So that's why I would only recommend, so get starting with simple videos create a lot of stuff, vlogs, share tips, share everywhere. And if you see the results of video marketing, hire a team who can help you with professional production. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everybody can start with video because, you know, the production is cost effective, right? And then you can shoot in high quality, as you said, you know, 4K video in your smartphone even today, right? Yeah. But um, do you have some favorite, um, you know, editing apps? we can share with our listeners maybe? Of course, of course. I am using uh, Adobe Premiere Rush for my phone. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm using iPhone, but if I'm not mistaken, it's available for Android users as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I am using Video Leap. Uh, I guess that was the name. Let me check so I can be sure that it's the name of the application. Yeah. It is. And I'm also using the actual Instagram uh, Reels um, editing platform, which is really nice, to be honest, because you can create videos directly there. If you want, you can use filters sometimes because I'm really lazy to do my makeup. So I'm just <laughs> putting a filter and that's easy just to, uh, just to shoot a video. So that's also, it's really easy. I mean, you can do everything with your phone. If you want to go with more professional, because I'm thinking that it's not only the professional people need to use all these professional platforms. Everybody can do that. You can, of course, learn uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is really nice platform. And it's not that difficult if you use several YouTube, let's say, tutorials, you can start creating and editing your videos there as well. And, and of course, it's the, the, the better is the Adobe After Effects, but it's more difficult platform. You need to take time to learn that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got, you know, at least three names. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we will put those next to the show notes. But um, I'd, I'd also like to touch for a second, you know, the trends, because how do you see those uh, video market trends yourself? Because what I see, um, uh, audio is also trending a lot. There is Clubhouse uh, growing. And I recently heard that LinkedIn has its audio-based, you know, networking feature, right? Or, or they're just right now testing this audio uh, platform. And uh, Facebook or Meta allows you to publish your podcast on their platform today. So audio and video are both growing rapidly. What are your thoughts here? Honestly, audio marketing has its advantages if we compare with video. First of all, you can listen to them in your everyday uh, like stuff. When you are cleaning your house, when you are taking a shower, when you are driving, you can listen to all these podcasts, audiobooks, and everything, which is amazing, honestly. And it's like a radio, but like trendy radio. So you can you can listen and learn a lot of great stuff with audio marketing. But honestly, it has its difficulties. I mean, if we're talking about advertisement, 
I honestly do not think that only audio could help people to understand your product better because uh, usually visual effects is giving more clear understanding. Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about educational stuff, of course, podcasts are amazing. Uh, but what I would recommend if you are still doing podcasts, just just record the video version as well and just share that version as well because some people may prefer audio, some people video version. And if you are just doing the recording process, that's no, no big difference like you're doing video version or just an audio. So I would really recommend to try both. But I love podcasts. I, I, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's really trendy and you can do everything by just listening to the podcast. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we could talk about videos for hours here. But um, if you were to wrap it up, you know, for those two listeners right now, please, please tell us first. Where you want people to go if they want to learn more about what you do, and uh, and uh, I'm sure people want to connect you and, and follow you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um... Maybe maybe you remember that. Uh, actually, I don't know if all of uh, all people know that, but Marilis challenged me to do my hundred days videos, which honestly I did only forty five right now. But everything is planned. That's I'm, a lot. I'm, That's a lot. <laughs> I'm still sharing them, just not every day, but. During this 100 days challenge, I have started from very scratch, like how to get started, even un- like explaining what is video marketing, explaining uh, what sh- what should be your steps. And right now I'm already sharing like the measuring processes, like how to measure the success of your video marketing. So I would definitely recommend people just to follow my LinkedIn mm-hmm. page for that information and follow our, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel because a lot of good vlogs are coming out this year and which we are going to share like 10 reasons why you're going to do video marketing, all types of videos that would be great for your business. So all of this uh, information that we're going to share will be available on our YouTube channel and on my LinkedIn channel. Okay, that's that's great. So I don't know, is there anything you else you'd like to add to wrap it up because it is very wide topic let's be honest but we we don't want to like uh, our listeners to to be too afraid of starting with video marketing do you have something you know to 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 give here to encourage people I would recommend starting with recording yourself and sharing educational content that's the most important thing that you can start with with video marketing because It's a time when you explain yourself as an expert in the industry. People starting to trust you more when you're sharing educational tips with them. And I know that a lot of people struggling to be in front of the camera, even Mm -hmm. I did. I mean, nobody can say that it's easy. But when you start creating your videos, uh, Marlies will tell better because she finished 100 videos. Um, I mean, you will be already a pro at the end of this uh, 100 videos, I'm so sure. So you will not afraid. You will just turn, turn on the camera and start just talking. So in the beginning, start creating videos for yourself. Start just record the button and start talking about anything you want. And later on, you will understand that you want to share these videos and you will start doing that. This will be just the beginning because later a lot of good stuff will come to your mind, having your webinars, starting your training sessions, starting your vlogs, and of course, starting to share your brand videos because that's also important. That's just the next step in video marketing, let's say, journey. So I would really recommend to start doing even right now. Just turn on your camera and start recording your videos. Right now, today. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I really do encourage everybody to do the same because the challenge you were mentioning, uh, the, you know, making 100 videos, it is a great challenge, but uh, I'm I'm so happy for you that you are actually doing that and you are putting, you know, yourself out there. So that's, that's a great step to to take. And, um, you know, everybody who listens to this, uh, you are welcome to, to join this challenge because this is the place where we can you know, help you to stay accountable, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you follow Anush at LinkedIn because the videos uh, you are making there are great. I can assure that. But before we go, please share and comment on the sh- song and the quote that always inspires you to take action. Yeah, so I... I... 
actually thought a lot, a lot like which which song I would pick up, and I went with the Queen Show Must Go On. I really love that song because it's really encouraged me when I I I I just losing my motivation for a second. I'm just turning on. Oh my God, the show is must go on, and we need to win. So <laughs> I love that song. And about the quote, um, I would go with "You always pass failure on the way to success." Um, honestly, let me give you just a simple um, like background about this. Just two days ago, uh, I was listening a podcast of one of uh, really good friends of mine. It was about the failure and he was sharing a lot about the failure and explaining that it's amazing to fail because when you fail, you learn a lot. So be always happy when you are failing because that will be just a step away to get success. That's very powerful. I also believe that uh, there's only two ways. You can either win or you can learn. There's no such thing as failure. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this Queen, uh, Queen's song, this is, you know, legendary for sure. And it's very, very inspiring. So thank you, Anush, for, for coming and for sharing your ideas. So maybe one day we can come back and, uh, you know, go, go more into, into specific video uh, uh, marketing tips even more because the topic is so wide. But uh, thank you. Thank you too. Thanks for inviting me once again. It was amazing to talk to you again. Likewise. That's all we've got for this episode of the Powerful Marketing Tips podcast. Make sure to link up with us at our free monthly international mastermind event. Just go to powerful-marketers.com forward slash mastermind for registration. And one thing that would really help us and other new potential listeners is if you would rate this show and leave a comment wherever you tune in to listen. Until next time, take care.